Hi everyone, it's Adam with My Lowe's Restoration. And today I've got a 1950s dresser that I found at a thrift store. And it was $50, it's a little bit more than I wanted to spend. I usually try to avoid these mid-century bond pieces just because I don't really find them to be easy to resell. But I kind of wanted to buy it and I found something that I thought would maybe allow me to sell it, kind of give it a modern look, but also allow me to kind of keep some of the you know the wood grain from the piece and that was that I was going to give it like a black stain and it's something that I've been wanting to try and I'm going to do that with a mix of dyes and a toner lacquered but first I had to get all the old finish off and so what I did was I sanded it first with 180 grit then with 240 and then with a 180 grit sanding block to get all the swirls out but You'll see me putting lacquer thinner on the pieces kind of intermediately to just check to see if there's any leftover finish that I couldn't see. Because whenever you put the dye stain on, if you have a little bit of finish that's left over, it's going to make a lighter area. So it's really important to use some kind of solvent to check to see if you've got everything off.
So this is just trans tint minced with denatured alcohol. I just kind of tried to mix it to what I thought would look like, you know, an ebony piece of wood that was either stained with some kind of acid or something like that. I really just wanted to mimic that kind of charred look. I had to play around with it a lot and I kind of came to a consistent color, but I knew that if I was close enough, I could use the lacquer to kind of patch things up and spray the areas where it still needed work at. So I wasn't too, too worried about it, but I tried to get as close as I could with the dye stain. And keep in mind that this is two different wood species. Um, I'm really not sure what kind of veneer this is. It's some kind of bond wood, probably, maybe maple. But it took the stain a lot better than the poplar did that was used to make the rails. So after I got that citrus strip off of that uh, those rails, I tried to make sure that I sanded them as well as I can and put some lacquer thinner to maybe open up the pores a little bit and clean everything out. It it looked similar to the the veneer, but it still looked very different, so I knew that I was going to have to use a toner. Had I not, had I had it all one type of wood, I probably could have gotten away with just not using a toner and just mixing up my clear finish and going straight to that, but I just wasn't able to do that with this piece. So this is going to be seal coat. It's just a de-wax shellac mixed with a little bit of denatured alcohol in the can. I don't thin it. I just spray it straight out of the can. It, it works good. Um, it's really not a very hard finish in my opinion if you're trying to use it as a top coat. Although I'm sure that you could, it's pretty soft. So I probably wouldn't recommend it for that. So I'm going to put a pre-cat lacquer on top of this. But I'm just spraying it with a 1. And I mixed a little bit of the trans tint dye in it. This is Gemini Precat, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of trans tint and spray it. It's not my favorite lacquer, but it'll do for this. And honestly, for $38 a can, it's really not bad. And also, I found that it runs a little bit, so you have to be careful of that. It's not the best leveling lacquer that I've ever used, but it's pretty good. For those purposes and you really I don't try I try not to add any kind of solvent to this just because I, I really don't want to mess with the chemistry too much so I had this piece of leftover salt maple that I had been using for just kind of to put furniture on and I had to cut another drawer slide the original drawer slide you'll see has a pretty big break in it it's definitely a sketchy cut on a table saw, but my planer is in storage right now and I'm trying not to get it out. So I just, you know, went slow and was careful with it. I then marked the areas that I wanted to cut out and got it to the correct height for my saw blade, cut the areas that were rabbited out originally on the drawer side and just put it back like it was. You know, really, that's the important thing with stuff like this, is that if you cut a new piece, you just make it the same size as that originally was.
So this was the coat of pre-cat lacquer that you saw me put in the cup earlier. I just had to wait for that seal coat to dry a little bit more. So some standing in between the 400 grit and I only did two coats of the pre-cat lacquer. It really only needed two. The color looked okay to me, so that's what I'm going to go with. You know, the only problem that I'd really say, other than the fact that, you know, I think the color could have looked a little bit cleaner, is that this lacquer dries extremely fast and I'm having a hard time getting like a smooth coat with it and really consistent. The sheen always turns out pretty good, but it, it just looks like it could be a little bit better. And I could see how with lighter colors it'd be a bigger problem. Kind of as I had alluded to earlier, you know, I really needed to do something with this that would allow it to sell. And I decided that I needed to take that base off and put some gold legs on it properly. And I'm going to do some gold hardware too. I got the legs off Amazon, you know, I just Google couch legs or whatever, gold, mid-century modern looking. And I just get my hardware from Lowe's usually. I like to see what size the hardware is before I buy it, so usually I go to Lowe's and pick it up. Uh, just using pocket hole screws here. That's just a reversible countersink jig for Craig for pocket hole screws that I'm drilling it in with. It's got a drill bit on the other side, really handy. And I just, you know, cut the base like that to where I could put the legs on and then attach it to it.
So kind of part of the idea for this came from the fact that I was staying at kind of a higher end hotel and I saw that they had some furniture like this that was stained black with gold hardware. I like the look. I think it came to look like kind of what I had imagined for it and I'm happy about that. Definitely still working on the lacquer and the toner but I'm getting better at it and hopefully you are getting some information from this that can help you on your project too. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this.